Welcome everyone to this uh, live stream. So uh, in this live stream, I'm going to talk about, uh, it's going to be a short live stream, but I think it's going to be important because uh, you might, uh, you might uh, have some errors or you might wondering why when you, when you ever, when you create a box or a circle, it becomes red outline, but you didn't set that outline or your font if you so so anyway basically what we're going to do here I'm we're going to uh, change the default so the default means to say say for example now this is the default of Corel draw whenever you type in something right you you get an aerial font and you get a 12 point text height right um, what if uh, I'm gonna give you a situation where in what if you are creating like a banner say for example my banner is 72 inches by 36 right enter so it's going to be really big and then for example I'm going to put like happy birthday here it's like a happy birthday banner it's going to be too small and and if I know I'm not dealing with um, a letter size paper I'm dealing with always big banners so it would be nice if I would set the uh, I would set my font, uh, the default font, to be, say, for example, 200 points, 200 points here, or and the uh, font would not be area, would be something else, right? So I'm going to show you how to to do it. So while you, while you're not selecting anything, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your text tool. And then uh, right now it says it's Arial, so you're going to change that. So say I'm gonna change that to Roboto Condense. That's one of my favorite fonts. If I click on that, uh, this one will show up, right? So it says here, you're about to change the default object properties for objects created in the current document. So you're, uh, so it's asking us, do you want the paragraph text to be, to be uh, Roboto or just artistic text? So I'm just gonna click both here and then click OK. And then notice it goes to Roboto, right? So now we already changed the default of the font. Now let's change the height. So the point size, I'm going to put it 200 because that's what I want to do. Because uh, say for example, most of my orders from my client our banner so uh, I just want Corelder will set it to 200 points to save time right so here it will ask you do you want to change the um, change it with artistic text or paragraph text so I'm just gonna click on both and I'm gonna click OK okay so now once I click on it it's going to have a uh, a uh, a font which is Roboto and 200 so now and then before before doing anything else you go to tools and you click on save settings as default so I'm gonna click on that and then now it will ask you uh, what 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 default style so I'm just gonna click OK here okay because it says default object properties and all this stuff and then click on save okay so now um, I'm going to close this one and then I'm going to I'm going to reopen Corel Draw. I think I opened twice here. Okay, I'm going to open Corel Draw. Uh, let's just wait for a few seconds here. Uh, so we're going to test uh, the. Um, okay, let's go here. Okay, so now it's here. So now let's go to new document and then click OK. Say for example here it's 72 by 30, 36 inches and I click OK. Okay, now let's go to my to your text tool and then type in here. So yes, it did save the default size because it's now it's Roboto and it's 200 points. Now I also get uh, got some situation wherein you want to change the outline or yeah, outline of the, um, so say for example, whenever you create a shape, you want the outline not to be, because right now it's 
five points is too small for a banner, right? Say I want it to be a thicker font, a thicker outline. Uh, so I'm gonna change the default to a thicker outline. So same thing with the um, with the font style. You just click here on the uh, the outline tool here, and then it will ask you again. Okay, you are now changing the default settings of the document. Do you want it for every every graphic? So graphic means to say it's the um, it's the the shapes, right? or the uh, the path okay because you can also say artistic text so for example every time I type in the uh, word or letters it will have a certain outline right so we are just I'm just going to do say artistic text here okay and then also graphic and then I click okay and it will give you a dialog box like this so say for example I'm working on banners I am going to say make it I'm just gonna exaggerate 24 points and then the color would be say uh, red so red like that and I'm gonna click OK and then okay so now whenever I create a shape it will have a an outline which is red right so any shapes now will have red so now, um, so if I remember I click on the text too, right? So uh, say I'm going to put new text now. Uh, so I'm going to put in any text here. And if you notice, hmm, let's go back to the default. I think I didn't check the, did I check the artistic text? And four points, click OK. So now if I create text, okay, so I now I understand why it didn't do it because uh, because we need to hmm, I'm not sure why it does that. So maybe it's an artistic text. I have to I have to troubleshoot this later but anyway so that that is how you change the default so so yeah so uh, this one is making it bigger so but if you are like working with a small size so really small size so for example yeah so right now right it's too small so you have to change it to change the default Make sure nothing is selected and then you go back to the default graphic and then you just change this to instead of 24 you say hairline. Okay. So whenever you create lines now it's I mean uh, shapes it's also an outline. So uh, so I hope you like my uh, short really short tutorial but I think it's important because the it would save you time and uh, effort because if you if you change if you don't change it to to uh, to the default to a bigger size you will have a you know you will spend time enlarging it and things like that so anyway that's my tutorial for today and I hope you like it and uh, give me a like in the below or comment if you like this video and if it's going to be useful uh, for you so i will see you tomorrow uh, more tutorials tomorrow and uh, and i will see you later bye for now